Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jade, also known as the Starbuck here on YouTube. I make lecture related content, so make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell button down below to get notified when I put out new content every week. So for this week, one of my followers has been asking me to do my white handbag collection. Hi Sarah, how are you? Um, so I'm here to deliver on that promise. I've seen a couple of YouTubers doing something similar, so I'll link their video down below if you guys want to check them out as well, as we're all a part of the big handbag loving community. There's a couple of different ones I wanted to show you. Not all of them are pure white, but I think they satisfy the criteria of being a white bag. I probably won't go too in depth into each of them because some of them I have done dedicated video to or I'm going to and I know a lot of you guys are asking me to do my handbag collection that's definitely on the agenda but hopefully this will give you a little bit of a glimpse into my handbag collection and satisfy your curiosity for the time being. So regardless let's get straight into it. So starting off this is my newest edition and my collection. It is the Birkin 25 Micellier in Cray with plating hardware. You guys saw me unbox this for my Christmas haul but I actually got this one back in summer of last year. To be fair, I haven't used it a whole lot because by the time I got around to settle down in Paris it was approaching fall so I didn't really get to wear it a whole lot. The downside I've noticed with, I mean it's more specific to the shape of the bag rather than the colour, is the fact that it's cellier, which means that the stitching on the outside and with the hips and leather, it is quite stiff. I'm quite used to having Retroné Togo Birkins. I find it particularly hard to use in the cellia shape. Other than that, I haven't really had issues with color transfer. It is pretty durable and Epson is very easy to clean. The only thing I would say to be conscious is to not wear it with clothing that's likely to cause color transfer. It's not just for white bags, like anything, any handbags that's a lighter color is prone to that issue. So no denim, if it's your darker pair of like black jeans, then I make sure it's been washed so that there is less of a chance of it having color transfer issues on your handbag. But other than that, this is pretty easy to clean. I find Epson very easy to manage. It's not really afraid of water. The only thing you need to be conscious about is over time, as white Epson wears, it can have little black dots, is what I've heard, which is just from the surface of the leather wearing and kind of the original color of the leather showing, but I've not experienced that yet, as this bag is still quite new. I do find it quite versatile and easy to dress up or dress down. If you put a twitty, it can become a lot more casual, and if you keep it playing like this, it's, it gives off a very chic and refined vibe. So overall, I would say this is an excellent bag if you're looking for a white statement bag. So next, this is my special order. This one is in, again, cray, so same color as the Birkin. And the side is in trench. And this one is with brush gold hardware, but as you can see, it's not a pure white bag, but it still fits in this category because, as you can see, the back and the front of the bag is white, which is the part of the handbag that gets dirty the easiest and the side and handle i mean the handle does get dirty if you're not mindful but the sides usually stay pretty clean so for this one i've had a bit of a funny situation with it so when i was cleaning the hardware because there was a bit of tarnishing the tarnishing actually was a bit black and it transferred onto the white part of the flap to clean off any stings um, i just used a little bit of baby wipe, like very dry baby wipe, and that cleaned off 
kind of the dark smudges on this part of the bag perfectly so you don't see anything and it's perfectly clean now different from the Birkin because this one comes with a strap again because it's a Kelly this is more of like a Kelly Birkin different rather than color because they're both white I find the Kelly's easier to use just because it has a strap and the fact that you know it fits on the crook of your arm so it's definitely a lot more versatile you can use it for a lot more occasions it's great for day to day it's great for night out and especially if you get a chance to make a special order i think choosing something white is quite smart especially if you choose it as your primary color so the front and the back kind of like that main body of the handbag any other you choose on the side would just be a nice pop of color so it can't really go wrong so just to put it out there i think white is a great basic and again it's very hard wearing because it's epsom leather from hermes so next this is my kelly 25 in the retro shape in the color beton with palladian hard work and this one is in toga leather so a bit different than the previous two and for me this is not really a pure white bag it's more like it's a tiny bit gray if you guys can see but yeah as it's a tiny bit gray in comparison to cray i find it pretty again easy to maintain togo leather is just as easy to clean as epsom leather frankly a microfiber cloth would do great just give the bag a quick wipe down once you've used it and I've worn this bag out quite a few times and you can see that it's absolutely impeccant. If you're looking for a Togo white bag, I think Bichon is a great option. Crayo would be fine as well. If you go with a white with a more grey kind of undertone, then it really doesn't show wear. Or if you go with a bag with a bit more yellow undertone, same kind of concept, it won't really show the wear as much as if you went with something that is pure white. That's all for this one. And then next, I spoke about earlier how you should probably get a bag that's not pure white. Um, I went against my own advice and I got a bag that is pure white. So here's my reasoning on this one. So I haven't shown this one, I think, on my channel yet. You guys probably have seen it on my Instagram. This is my mini bullied in blanche. So it's pure white. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you look at the piping of the bag and also the stitching, like everything is white. <laughs> like there's no other color on this bag and it's with plate in hardware, again going with that monochromatic theme. The pure white from Hermes in some light looks a bit green almost like it's like so white <laughs> that i'm like not used to it if you guys can see the difference but here i'll go the other way the leads for me are wonderful vacation bag i tend to like to take them on vacation because they're very small and it goes well with a cute dress the situation is pretty similar to the other white handbags if you are conscious about what you wear with it and especially in summer if you're wearing dresses and not dark colored denim that should um, be fine and every color is pretty easy to clean again similar kind of thing wipe down with microfiber a little bit of water if you get a sting or a little bit of baby wipe so that's my advice to you Next, we have another small bag. This, you guys have seen again, this is my second special order. Actually, this is my first special order I've ever placed. It's a mini Kelly. The front is in the color Nata, the side is in the color gold, and it's with gold hardware. So, you can see this one is in Nata, and this one is gray. So, the color is a little bit different, but they're both still white. So contrary to this one, which I like to wear in the summer, this one I find it pretty easy actually to wear all season because the side is in gold. I think this is one of the white bags I use the most because it's just super easy to style and honestly the gold plus white 
kind of combination just go well with everything. I do find the Mini Kelly's a little bit constrictive, like you can't fit that many things into it. But as a day bag, if you don't carry that much with you and you want to be pretty hands-free, this is an excellent bag. And similar to everything else I've talked about, it's very easy to manage and maintain and I've not had any issue with color transfer, so don't be afraid to buy white bags, honestly. I think, especially from Hermes and Epson, they're very easy to manage. Moving on to my last white Hermes handbag. This is my mini constant in the color crepe with rose gold hardware. So this one is quite cute. It's probably my most feminine white bag. Can I say that? <laughs> because of the rose gold hardware, it gives a a very soft and elegant feel. This one I've had for a little bit longer and I've used quite a lot. I did get it dirty like once over here and I kind of just wiped it off and you don't really see anything anymore. Yeah, perfectly clean. The inside of these bags is a softer leather so it did get a little bit scratches but honestly it's still in great condition and the only places, I would say these ones are prone to color transfer, is at the back and on the straps, but I've had no issue with it. I try to wear it like this kind of bag, double strapped and on my shoulder, that way it sits like on my sweater or higher up in general on clothing that don't tend to cause color transfer and then they stay pretty clean overall. That's it for my white Hermes bags. So next I have my square mini from Chanel. You guys have seen in my other video this one. I don't quite remember what color they called it when I bought it, but it's basically just a white color that's a little bit of a cooler tone. So I would say it has a little bit of a gray undertone to it. I've had this one for a couple of years, I've worn it a decent amount of times and it's worn alright. Like the only place I have trouble again with is the back of the bag. Sometimes it can get dirty from just rubbing on my clothing but I've had no issue with color transfer and it's been very easy to clean. The other thing that I've noticed with white Chanel bag is that for lamp skin the color dye some places of the bag doesn't look as even um, so i don't know if you guys can see but here like the color looks a bit patchy which i think is just part of the natural grain of the leather rather than anything else but i've seen white chanel classic flap in caviar leather which doesn't really have that kind of issue so this is more of the dye rather than the wear of the bag the newer lambskin from Chanel is a little bit different from the older ones because I've had no issue with this bag in terms of like scratching and stuff like that. It's lasted really well. It really doesn't have any issues or imperfections from my wear. Lastly, this is my last white bag to show you guys. This one is a unique one because as you can see, it is not leather. It's plastic <laughs> coating. I don't know if you guys can see. But yeah, it's like these like little round plastic things that um, spells Chanel. I got this one last Christmas and this is probably one of the two. So beside the Mini Kelly, one of the two bags, white bags that I wear in the winter. So this one specifically, I wear a lot during the holiday season because to me it looks I don't know, it just screams holiday and screams like Christmas to me. And the kind of the way the bag sparkles also just feels very festive. It's honestly so much fun and I'm really addicted to like this sensation, <laughs> but yeah. And so specifically, this one also has a double strap like two right next to each other instead of classic flag which goes the other way and the inside the top flap is in leather but let me take out the insert 
The inside is in a kind of satin-like material. The strap definitely shows wear. If you guys can see, there's a bit of like scuffing and things on the strap. Other than that, I mean, everything else is fine. The leather part of this bag is probably the worst wearing part of the handbag. Like, now that I'm looking at it seriously, I can see a lot of parts of the chain where kind of it's lost its color. But this bag is only <laughs> a year and a bit old, which, you know, uh, Chanel quality issues. But anyway, other than the issue with the leather, the rest of the bag has worn beautifully. Um, and I mean, if you get this kind of bag dirty, there's no saving it. I've talked to Chanel, but I don't think there's any way for them to clean it or to fix it for you. So do keep in mind if you want to buy a special piece like this from Chanel. You do have to be a bit conscious. I mean, it is very hard to get it dirty because, again, what can you do to cause color transfer onto plastic? There's not that many things, but if you do happen to, you know, spill a drink or something like that, then there is really not much that can be done to fix it. So far, I've had no issue with the bag on the actual body of the bag beside the chains that we've discussed earlier. And I would say the only downside, if you were looking for a bag similar to this, I don't know if that would ever um, come up in Chanel again, do keep in mind that these little bits, they like peel your sweater a little bit. So when I wear this one like on my shoulder and it's directly on my sweater and if it rubs, then I can see there's a lot more little balls <laughs> of my sweater um, like forming than anything else. So that's just something to keep in mind. Definitely not my recommendation if you're just looking for a white handbag to add into your collection. I always recommend go with leather if you want that one long lasting handbag in your collection. To summarize, there is honestly nothing wrong with liking and owning white handbags and they're actually very durable, like don't be afraid to add a white bag into your collection. I personally find them very versatile, especially in summer. I pretty much just wear white and baby blue handbags. Those are colors I love. I would say probably white is the color I wear the most in summers. Because they kind of just go with everything and you can dress it up, you can dress it down and it just, it really highlights your outfit. Um, if I had to choose two white handbags to have in my collection and that's it. I would have one Constance and one Kelly because again I think just for practical reasons I find it a lot easier if the bag can be carried on my shoulder rather than hand carried and there's less chances of it getting really dirty like if it's a hand carry bag usually the handle parts can get a bit disgusting and white bags can yellow, I have not experienced that, but they can yellow from regular usage and regular contact with her hands because of the, you know, either hand cream and other product we put on her palm or just sweat. So personally, I would say go with a shoulder bag. And for me, being a true Hermes <laughs> lover, I will go with a Constant or a Kelly. So Kelly can be mini Kelly or a Kelly 25 and then Constance. Personally, I prefer the mini constants. And in terms of leather type, I would say Epson or Togo are perfectly fine. They're both very easy to maintain um, in white color and very easy to clean. That's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and like my white handbag collection. And I hope this video can satisfy your curiosity for the time being before we do a full on handbag collection video which will come i think in a couple of weeks i will see you guys next week bye